Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you an easy fix for a low flame on a propane barbecue. This is a simple tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now, sometimes on my barbecue, I get a low flame, a very weak flame. And this happens every once in a while, or at least it happened every once in a while. And I would end up cleaning all of the interior parts of the barbecue grill, and that would usually fix the problem because they were dirty, they were clogged, it would fix the problem. But then the problem persisted even after I'd cleaned all of the interior parts. So I couldn't figure out what it was until I came across this article and these instructions and it worked wonders. And I'll tell you what it is. Basically, it can be attributed potentially to the regulator. Now, if you see this thing right here, this is actually a regulator. It just regulates the amount of propane right here, this little piece that goes to the barbecue. And there's actually an overfilling prevention device in that regulator. And basically, it, it will limit the amount of propane that comes out if it thinks that there's a propane leak, okay? So it's a safety feature. And if you're like me, sometimes you might accidentally activate that device. So I'll tell you what can activate it and then I'll tell you how to fix it, okay? So what I usually do is I turn on the grill knobs first. I'll turn on the grill knob first, then I'll turn on the propane tank and then I'll light the grill. Okay, now the propane tank isn't on right now, but I would turn on the grill knob first, okay? And that's just how I sort of thought to do it. Um, and that is usually a good method, except it can activate that device that might think that there's too much propane going out. So it thinks that there's a leak and it will limit the amount of propane coming out and your barbecue will not reach higher than like 200 degrees, 250 degrees. Okay. It won't get hot. Basically you have a very low flame and it won't get hot. So if you do that, and you activate that device, well then how do you deactivate it? How do you fix the problem? I'll show you. This works for me every single time it happens. It doesn't happen as often now, but it works for me. So you wanna make sure first and foremost, open the lid of the grill so you have um, everything escaping into the atmosphere, okay? You wanna turn off all of your barbecue grill knobs. So all of these are off. You wanna turn off your propane tank, okay? to make sure you, your propane tank is also off. Then once everything is off, basically, we're gonna disconnect this, okay? We're gonna disconnect this line over here. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna turn this around to disconnect it, just like that. All right, now we're gonna wait about 30 seconds. And as you're waiting, you are resetting the device that is causing you to have a low flame, okay? So you're resetting it. So now we're gonna do, after you've waited about 30 seconds, okay, and I don't have to wait the full 30 because mine isn't activated, but once you've waited 30 seconds, you're going to put the propane line back on, okay? Make sure it's twisted nice and tightly like that, all right? Here's what you're gonna do. Make sure your knobs on the grill are still off. This is how you prevent it from being activated. You're gonna turn on your propane tank slowly. So I'm gonna turn it on slowly. So it's like this, nice and slowly. Turn it on nice and slowly this way. The uh, regulator doesn't think that there's any sort of leak. Turn it on nice and slowly. Go to your grill. Turn on your igniter grill knob. In this case, it's gonna be the center one right over here. There's always gonna be one that ignites it, okay? Turn on your igniter grill knob and ignite your grill just like that. And you should have a nice full flame because you should have reset that regulator, okay? Um, and the key here, if you want to avoid setting it off again if you want to avoid having to do this again is to do the same thing you know turn on your propane tank first nice and slowly then turn on your barbecue grill knob and then light and then ignite it that's it it's very simple um i always thought my barbecue was broken and that it would get clogged all the time but in reality a lot of the times that i thought there was a problem with the barbecue it was just a problem with my method and it was because i was doing it th the way that was activating um the overfilling pre prevention device in the regulator that's it i mean it's a safety feature we got to be happy that it's there but you have to know how to light your barbecue without activating it that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching